welcome to Teach Me Play. Today's video, we will be looking at what fine motor skills are and different activities you can do to develop your child's fine motor skills. Please watch this video, like, comment and subscribe to see more content like this and to let me know your thoughts and opinions. I'm often asked what fine motor skills are because we often, as professionals, talk about fine motor skills for children during their early education. So the children are in nursery and preschool and also in reception and year one. Now, when I'm asked what fine motor skills are, the most simplest way to define those are to coordinate the muscles in their fingers as well as their hands and eyes. So synchronized movements, which include finger muscles and hand-eye coordination. Now, fine motor skills means to work in really small details to start building up the muscles ready for fighting. Now also, it also helps to build up fine motor skills for children's artwork as well. So there are lots of different activities that you can do with your child to help build up fine motor skills. I've put together a collection of different activities that you can use to help build up the muscles in their fingers ready for writing and also to help follow with hand-eye coordination. Here is a selection of simple activities that you can do with your child at home or within an educational setting. I hope that you enjoy that. Fine motor activity number one. Today I have placed some Cheerios and spaghetti into a tray. We're going to practice threading skills. This is a really good way to get the children to synchronise their finger movements with their hand-eye coordination. Now, spaghetti and Cheerios, something that you've probably already got in your cupboards, but really, really effective and often, often used in early years settings. So I've just got a tray, filled it with Cheerios and blue tapped the spaghetti. You don't need to blue tap it, but it just looks a bit more attractive for the children. The challenge is to get the Cheerio onto the spaghetti. So the child should pick up the Cheerio, carefully have a look at it, make sure that it's secure in their hands, and then begin to start threading on the spaghetti. Now you can also bring in some masks, so you might want to count these as you're placing the Cheerios onto the spaghetti. So we've got one, two, three, and you can continue to do that and build your own spaghetti and cheerio tower. Fine motor activity number two. Now in this tray I have placed some pipe cleaners and some beads. Now they were just purchased in the pound shop so one pound for 60 pipe cleaners and one pound for a pack of 100 beads. Now, children absolutely love this activity. It's often used in early year settings. So in nursery, reception, sometimes in year one and year two. Uh, the children really enjoy this activity because they can make their own bracelet or necklaces uh, using this activity. So again, the idea is that the children synchronize their movements with their fingers and uh, with another object while carefully watching it with their hands with their eyes. So with the tray, I've got pipe cleaners. So you can get the children to straighten out their pipe cleaner and then begin to start threading the beads onto the pipe cleaner. And then they can continue to do this. Now you might actually ask them to create a pattern as well. Pattern making during this activity is really effective and a great way to meet the early learning goals in reception. Oh, 
as the child begins to start placing the beads on to the pipe cleaner, they'll become more confident with moving their fingers very delicately, looking carefully at the pipe cleaner as they're attaching each bead. Once you're happy with the beads that have been placed onto your pipe cleaner, you can give your child some praise and then you might want to wrap it around their wrist like a bracelet. They absolutely love this. I'm just going to tie it around now. And there's my new bracelet. Fine motor activity number three. Now, this fine motor activity is collecting um, beads using tweezers. Now, these are plastic tweezers that are quite large for children to use. You'll often see them used in early years settings. And the idea is that the children pinch the tweezer, which takes really strong muscles in your fingers to build up. And it's quite similar to holding a pencil. So that's why these are really good for gaining muscle strength in their fingers. Um, then the children have to look very carefully at the beads and to collect the beads using tweezers. Just fine motor activity number four. Fine motor activity number four is the play doh. Now, Play-Doh is absolutely fantastic for building up the muscles in children's hands and fingers. So I've just made up my own Play-Doh. Uh, have a look at my video to find out how to make up your own Play-Doh. Um, and all that you need to do with the Play-Doh is twist it, pull it apart, squeeze it, and just generally play with the Play-Doh. Pull it, mix it, and that is one really great way to build up the muscles in children's feet.